My name is Mona Klein. I'm teaching living skills, food and nutrition, and advanced food study. It, it just kind of opens up their mind to that to a lot more kind of career options in life. And then we also study all the subject areas of home economics. They get exposed to interior design, fashion design, child development. Um, food and nutrition is also a big part of that course. Because we learn how to make our own food and we're going off to college soon. So it's going to help us in college and our roommates, we can cook for our roommates and they're going to like us a lot more because of that. Uh, what I like most about Living Skills is the fact that we get to learn the nutritional value of all the food that we eat on a regular basis and uh, we learn how to cook it, which is a good thing. I'm LeClaire. I teach Drawing Painting 1, Drawing Painting 2, Art Studio, and AP Art Studio. If you don't know how to draw, I can teach you in Drawing Painting 1. That Mr. LeClaire has really nice projects for us. They're creative and we use tools that, that I haven't used in middle school either. It could be a good starting point for a career in the arts. It gives a really good basis for just any drawing, even if you don't want to do it as a career, but it's just as a hobby. So if you are into um, anime, uh, graffiti, realistic drawing, abstract painting, or anything in between, you'll find a home for yourself in my classroom. You can learn about different styles and forms, and with each one we learn, we do a project incorporating it, so it's really fun because you get to learn different things. My name is Kent Curris, and I'm the director of bands and orchestra here. I've always really enjoyed band just because it's been a really character-building experience. I mean, it takes a lot of dedication and responsibility. Every person should have music in their life in some form, and here at MA, we're blessed because we have a huge tradition with the music program here, the three jazz bands especially, but the concert band and the orchestra. There's something for everybody here. Um, and it's a big atmosphere of trust because you depend on all the other band members to, you know, come through with their parts and you expect yourself to come through with your own. Any person that's in band class is going to get skills and, and memories and education that will last a lifetime for them. My name is Mark Leeper and I teach in Woods 1, Woods 2, Woods 3, uh, Drafting 1, Architectural Design, and Engineering Technology. What I like most about Woodshop is meeting new people and getting to work with your hands and go around the classroom doing things actively versus sitting at a desk and learning about them. The overall goal of our classes is to give people a really fun learning experience where they learn about different skills they need for different types of careers. In the class you learn about every aspect of architecture, not necessarily just drawing it up, but you get to design it on your own. I love teaching these classes because I think it's a really great, enjoyable, hands-on way for kids to learn. Students should take this class because it's, it's, a, it's a good environment and you get to make stuff with your hands and you can make all sorts of gifts for people and uh, yeah, it, it, once you get into it, it, it's a lot of fun. Betsy Snow and I teach digital photography one and two, journalism and digital storytelling for the freshman elective wheel. Students take digital photography one to learn the basics of taking better photos, using their camera on manual setting, and learning the differences of file sizes from JPEG to RAW. So we get to do projects, we learn how to do InDesign and Photoshop. Students should set up for the class if they want to learn how to be smarter than their camera. They want to learn how to make the most of the camera they already own. They want to learn how to shoot manually and they want to find a way to express their creativity through the medium of photography. So other students should take this class because it provides you with the um, real life experience that you can use in your future such as um, advertising or journalism or photography. My name is uh, John Demansky and I am teaching uh, advanced placement computer science, which is taught in Java. Um, CompSci is a really good learning experience. Uh, you learn a lot of stuff that can be useful later in life, and it can also it can also expose you to many other like career opportunities that you can later pursue in college. There's so many different ways to approach solving a problem, and 
it's interesting to see how different students think about solving a problem and how they come, go about doing it. Okay, so other students should take this class because it's just a, a really fun class and uh, some teachers will say it's a math class, but it's, it's not like algebra or pre-calc or anything like that. My name is Ms. Pepke and I teach computer applications. I want students in this class to be exposed to as many different types of technology as possible. Uh, we get to learn about programs that I have never heard about and some I have and I actually improved in them. Um, it teaches us like things that we can do like in an office or like if we're working. The majority of the jobs out there these days require some use of the computer. Uh, I recommend it to other students because this class will help you out in the long run. You'll learn how to use programs that you'll probably need in college or in work, um, especially if you're into computers. It'll help you out a lot to understand how they work. Uh, my name is Ms. Goodoff. I teach ceramics, um, ceramics one, ceramics two this class, and I teach a ceramics three class. Um, what I like most about ceramics is the calming environment and the projects that we get to do. What I like about what I like most about ceramics is the projects that we do. If they are the kind of students who like to work with their hands and create things out of clay. Just having a nice break in the day where I can relax and mold some clay and really just uh, express myself through the art. Hi, I'm Leanne Strube. I teach AP Art History. Um, we start with um, prehistory and we go all the way to the present time. I like uh, learning history in a different way than I've ever done before. Um, students think about how art serves the um, purposes of um, the time period in which it's produced. I think it's a really great class because you learn more about art, whereas um, like, you learn some about art in Western civilization, but in most government classes, you don't really cover much about art at all. And it's really kind of interesting and important historical element. I love art, in a word, um, but also I love history. And also, I really love to um, present something to students that is um, unlike anything else that they do in school. Hi, I'm John McClair, and I teach Journalism 1, 2, and 3. The overall goal of journalism is to really provide a student-based production of a publication that is for the students and by the students. It's to provide a community where people are able to report on the stories that students want to hear. Um, I thought I was just going to be writing and like putting out a boring newspaper, but we have this magazine where we have all this art and um, all this liberty of like working with students as editors and not just like an actual journalism job. Students should sign up for journalism if they want to be part of something bigger than themselves. Whatever stories they want to report on, uh, if they legally can, they get to. If you really like writing or you like laying out pages, it's great if you just like the artistic and writing qualities. My name is Mr. Mayer and I'm teaching digital audio, two sections of choir, the wheel, and Guitar. Some people have always wanted to try guitar, but I've never really gotten the chance to. And this is a nice way to, you know, every day for 50 minutes or whatever, you get to practice guitar. And it's... Students should sign up for guitar because it's a hands-on activity. We have guitars that they can take home and practice with. It's a great collaborative ensemble environment. I think you should take guitar because it's a really fun class, and it's not really hard. You just come in, learn the material, and when you get out of the class, you know how to play guitar. It's so much fun to play, and we get to be sort of rock and roll in the class, amongst other things like reggae and soul music and everything else. And we get to learn to read music. My name is Deborah Jean Smicker Sober Pena. Everyone calls me Ms. Z. I teach stagecraft and two drama classes. What I like most about drama is we get to play around, mess around, and I mean, do school things. They have a lot of room to move around, get up out of their seats so they're not sitting around. We actually do a lot. We don't just sit and read about plays. We create our own. 
we do improvisation, and it, it's a great chance for a lot of students who wouldn't normally have a class together because it's 9 through 12 um, to meet. Other students should take drama just if, if, they're, if they're having a bad day. I mean, everybody can make their day and make them laugh. Tilson and I teach ceramics and I teach uh, freshman elective wheel and I teach web design. Well, if you're interested in the design industry, anything like that, it's a good class to take. Students should sign up for web design if they like graphics or they like working with computers and they want to learn about how to uh, create and maintain a website. So what right now I'm I'm working on um, just photo manipulation, Photoshop, typography, as because I'm interested in graphic design as a career. I like the new technologies and different kind of events that come with the technologies, and uh, I like to play with Photoshop. Hello, I'm Mr. G and I teach video production and digital animation. What I like about video production is that we get to explore different styles of projects. What I like most about digital animation is probably it's just a, it's a nice break from the cut and dry like classes that you have. My favorite thing about digital animation is that I get to create artwork that I couldn't make without a computer. If you're interested in exploring a career in film or television, this is the place to start. You'll... You get to learn how to do really cool things that you can later show to your friends. Like you're not just learning something uh, from a book, you're, you're, like, you're learning it from experience. And also we get to uh, learn how to use professional equipment such as Final Cut Pro and HD cameras. Other students should take digital animation because it's fun and you get to learn how to do something that you, don't, you wouldn't get to learn in any other environment.